Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. My name is Prince. My name is Prince. My name is Prince. My name is Prince. Ladies and gentlemen, the revolution. Why do we scream at each other? We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Girlfriend came across the needle and soon she did the same. At home, there's 17 year old boys, their ideal form. I've been in a gang called the Disciples, I own crack, told no machine gun. into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Please welcome Andre 3000 and Big Boy from Outkast and Alicia Keys. Everybody, please give it up for Prince one more time. Come on up here, Miss Lady. I'm sorry, come on, come on, darling. Thank you. You look good. Thank you. Prince Rogers Nelson. I mean, just in a, in a name, you know, it's, I mean, it's just powerful. First album came out when I was three years old. Yep, three years old. Yeah, <laughs> 1978, three years old. The guy was 17 years old playing every instrument. Yeah. Um, yeah. The people thought it was a whole band. What Prince brings to the stage is, back in the day, entertainers, they were singers. They were dancers. They had great style. They had great personality. And I think we've lost a lot of that today. And so when it comes for me to do music as an inspiration, Prince is most definitely one of my greatest inspirations. Yes, sir. Um, I have to tell her. Yeah. Yes, sir. I have to tell the, uh, the story. A cousin of mine, I was, I was a little, little guy, maybe 12, 10, 12 or something. And my favorite cousin, he introduced me to Prince. Um, I think it was the song, If I Was Your Girlfriend and yeah. Adore. And um, I looked up to my cousin, he was my greatest cousin. He had style, he had all the girls in high school. So <laughs> for him, for that, for Prince to be his soundtrack, you know, I just adopted it. And uh, it didn't take until I started to get into music and to produce songs and see what it takes for a songwriter to make music and to write lyrics is when I really appreciated what Prince, you know, brought to the whole game. So I just really have to say thank you. 
Thank you. B. Off the dome. Yeah. Off the top of the dome. Y'all know what it is, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, man. <laughs> I just gotta say, you know, I got a little story too. I, you know, I was like a little young buck and you know, Purple Rain came out. And um, you know, I, was, I couldn't have been no more than about 14, 15, but ever since then, you know, I, you know, I tried to straighten my hair out, you know. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I even tried, you know, my thing, you know, riding motorcycles and really being debonair with the ladies. But not only that, you know, after, you know, going back and researching the albums, man, I started listening to the lyrics, man. And I just started, you know, just really understanding how complex the songs were, man. I mean, one song that really stuck in my head when I was real young, I was too young to understand what erotic mean was Erotic City. I was young and my uncle introduced me to that song, man. And I was just, you know... I, I was really amazed because I was like, man, he is saying the F word in the song. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but I thought he was saying the F word. To this day, I still say he's saying it. It's all the same. It's for real, for real, man. But all in all, man, he's been an inspiration to outcasts. I mean, everything, you know, that we've done up until this point, man, he's been, you know, a big influence on us because we listen to him coming up, man. And, you know, I mean, we want to just say from the bottom of my heart, we love you. That's why we're here tonight, man. And, I mean, man, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it couldn't have been nobody else that deserved it better than this man tonight. That is true. King Henry VIII, King Solomon, King Tut, King James, King Kong, <laughs> the three kings, but there is only one prince. <laughs> only one man who has defied restriction who's defied the obvious and all the rules to the game. A mysterious figure who in a river of words will not suffice, can only be identified by a symbol. People can say something about Prince. Are you ready? And it used to bother me. Once I changed my name, it had no effect on me. Once I did it, a lot of things started changing in my life. There's only one man who is so loud, he makes you soft. So strong, he makes you weak. So honest, you feel kind of bashful. <laughs> so bold, he defies you to be subtle. And so super bad, he makes you feel so super good. <laughs> Kiss. He's the only man that I've ever seen that lights a stage on fire, leaving you to burn within it in a frenzy of movement lights, electric guitars, slides, pianos, dances, voices, splits, <laughs> and songs. Oh my God, songs so powerful that you are forever changed. Songs that make you laugh and cry, think and dance. Songs that made me look at songwriting as stories that are untold passions dying to be heard. He is the inspiration that generations will return to until the end of time. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> throughout history there have been many, many kings, both real and mythological. They have born sons, but none of them can touch the rays from this man who stands alone a man that I am tremendously proud and honored to help induct into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame tonight because now it is forever changed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to get on your feet and I want you to pay homage to the one and only Prince. Please, please be seated. All praise and thanks to the Most High Jehovah. 
I want to thank you, Alicia, Andre, Big Boy. Much respect to y'all. Thank you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is definitely an honor. Uh, I don't want to take up too much time, but I would just like to say this. When I first started out in uh, this music industry, I was most concerned with freedom. Uh, freedom to produce, uh, freedom to uh, play all the instruments on my records, uh, freedom to say anything I wanted to. And after much nego negotiation, Warner Brothers Records granted me that freedom, and I thank them for that. With, without any real spiritual mentors other than artists, whose records I admired, uh, Larry Graham uh, yeah. being one of them, uh, I embarked on a journey more fascinating than I could have ever imagined. Um, but a word to the wise, without real spiritual mentoring, too much freedom can lead to the soul's decay. And a word to the young artists, a real friend or mentor is not on your payroll. A real friend and mentor. A real friend and mentor cares for your soul as much as they do their own. This world and its wicked system will become harder and harder to deal with without a real friend and a mentor. And I wish all of you the best on this fascinating journey. It ain't over. Peace. Yeah.